Hi guys, welcome to the Lara Studios. We'll be talking about a tax maker application in Android. We're actually going to break out this into different video models, which will be starting from the first to add the tax activity, uh, the contract class, and the DB helper. That will be the first video. The second video is going to house the provider, uh, the main activity itself. How we're going to actually call different. Uh, tax added to the SQLI database. Uh, the third video will be the detail activity of each tax, uh, the settings activity, where we'll get to add uh, some other aspects. Probably we're going to give a reminder or we we'll want to delete a particular uh, tax. While the fourth video will be focusing majorly on the alarm manager that will keep uh, notifying the user when the tax has got to be triggered. The fifth video will be talked about the job scheduler and uh, we're going to finish up with uh, the services to actually uh, do a background delete of completed tax. This is a bumper package which I would like you to follow along with me. I have the demo right there in an Android emulator and this uh, a demo data making a working demo but you could actually create your own tax by clicking on the floating action button right there with this now you have the ability to uh, create a new tax where you need uh, to first of all uh, set the type of tax you want to get done let's say uh, learning SQLite database could set the priority uh, probably very important or not that's the essence of the priority uh, the priority is going to come with uh, a star uh, icon to actually depict that uh, this is of great need so I'm actually going to set the priority and uh, the due date of this particular tax when it's due to be executed or to be done uh, you could call on the calendar to actually make you select uh, when you need the tax to be carried out. I could actually select the 9th or let's say the 10th of January 2018. Uh, once you click on that, you click on OK. Then you set uh, the calendar date that you actually want the tax to be carried out. And you click on the Save menu right there. So you have that specified here, learning SQLite database. And this is actually going to be uh, sorted are uh, based on the uh, the date. That means the first tax, or let's say the tax coming much earlier, uh, we come uh, first, while the tax that is supposed to come later on, we come uh, below. So that's just what that uh, is going to do. So now we have the January 10, which is only uh, the tax that has a date right there. So that's why you have it uh, specified that way. So cool. You could also go further to have a detail of that particular tax. If you notice, we have the Lenny SQLite database at the detail and the due date of the tax called January 10. Uh, this is a detail page and you could actually delete and you could set a reminder for this tax. So setting a reminder will actually uh, make you pick the same date, let's say January 10, since that's the date we need it to be executed. And we could click on OK to set a reminder you can see tax alarm set so there's going to be a reminder at the date of the completion or at the date of this tax so you could actually go back since we're not going to be deleting this and once you check this definitely let's check the map they make a working demo it's going to actually depict that the tax has been completed and you could see a strike through on that tax so that shows that the tax is completed and there's going to be a background check uh, what about you to actually flush out all completed tax by itself so you don't really need, really need to go through and start deleting completed tax there's a background job that will be going through and delete this so this a mini tax management system and I'm actually going to be showing you step by step on how to achieve this application from here we could head straight to the code and uh, I'll start up with the build gradle 
which is always the entry point to any Android application where you have the dependencies that you have to use the libraries that you're calling to actually make your application work we'll be using the recycler view the spot designs where we get to use the coordinator layout and some other uh, Android the swipe through and some other Android designs and the preference which will actually be talking about these uh, in the settings well, we're going to be uh, actually making some settings and uh, actually going to use some shared preferences uh, to create to make a persistent state of uh, data we'll be talking about that in subsequent videos so all these dependencies are very important you sync your gradle and you have that uh, ready add it straight to the layout you have the activity main and the add new tax activity the activity main is for the main activity which is uh, the visual aspect you see uh, where you could actually get to uh, display uh, the uh, the tax which is right there in the main activity so you could actually see that all uh, right there let me bring this back cool yeah that is the main activity so that's the launcher UI so this is actually going to undo the main activity and we have the add new tax activity which is right there uh, on this uh, button click you have the new tax over here so let's get to discuss how the layout is in the activity main uh, you're going to have it uh, simple uh, but it's very very simple to you uh, which is just uh, a text view uh, but we'll get to talk about this where we'll be integrating uh, the recycle view uh, to actually uh, lay out each of the item uh, we are in question but we'll be talking about it uh, later on since we're going to focus more on the add new tax for now uh, we're going to add the new tax activity to the SQLite database and this is actually going to uh, wrap around a relative layout where you have the text input layout as uh, the tag and uh, you have an edit text and this edit text uh, you get to input uh, the, the tax in question that's the name of the tax you're about to uh, save to the SQLite database and uh, you have the switch compact which is actually uh, going to have the toggle uh, to actually switch if you need the priority to be set or not so that's what uh, that's going to be do and you have the select date where you get to call on the uh, date uh, dialog so this is actually going to uh, call on the due date uh, that you actually uh, want to set uh, the tax for so that's just how the structure is uh, with this uh, you could be able to have the UI to actually add your new tax cool we'll be added straight down to uh, the DB helper and the tax contract those are will be the first aspect we'll be discussing at this point in time in the tax contract which is uh, the uh, the columns and uh, the, the we are trying to set up uh, the the content authority the columns and then also some other helper methods that will be very useful in the course of communicating with the database we first of all the database schema information uh, whereby we have the table itself called the table tax and uh, the content authority majorly you have to call user package as the content authority and now we have some helper uh, methods right there which is used for the sort order constant where the priority first uh, before the completed tax and the rest of by the date so that's the order that's actually going to be displayed uh, where the tax will be displayed in the main activity the priority first the completed last and the rest by the date so you have this in a string format with an ascending order descending and an ascending so this ascending is the priority the completed and the rest by the date so you have that with the column if it's complete the priority and the due date so that's the format in which is actually going to uh, be sorted and you are for the date sort if you are actually uh, sorting by date and uh, it's actually going to also do that appropriately so now you have the base content URI for assessing the provider. So you have that as a content URI where you call on the content authority. You add the 
path to the table and you build up to have a content URL. Uh, this is very much uh, understandable. We've talked about this in previous tutorials, multiple tutorials, where we have to talk about uh, contracts and uh, also DB helper. Now you have some helper uh, methods to, retrie to retrieve columns uh, by values. You have the get column string, you have the get column int, and also the get column long. Uh, those are different data types that you might be using. So you could actually use these uh, to call uh, when you're trying to uh, to iterate through a cursor and uh, try to extract its values uh, from the object of a cursor. So you get uh, to use this helper method. You could use them uh, in the course of your adapter, trying to bind data to uh, the views. And you have the tax columns where you will be able to set up the columns needed. This implements the base columns. It's an inner class uh, right there in the contract. Uh, you have the description. It's complete. It's priority and the due date. Those are the four columns that you'll be needing in your SQLite database. Uh, the description of the tax is, is it completed or not? Uh, the priority of the tax, uh, probably if you set the priority, and the due date, probably if you add the due date from the add tax that you actually saw. So it's actually going to populate those values for you. From here, we'll be looking at the DB helper. In the DB helper, majorly, this is where we have to uh, create the uh, database itself where we uh, initialize it. And at the same time, we're going to create our table. And uh, uh, with that, you could uh, also create some data if you need to create a dummy data uh, to the SQLite database so that at first, once you launch your application, there will be a, a data uh, that will actually show up. So we have that done also when we actually launch the application and we add this making a working demo displayed at first. So we actually did that from the DB helper. Now in the DB helper, we have the database name called tax.db, the version, version one, and now uh, a string to actually create the table, which is create table tax. And uh, it's actually going to create the primary key auto increment, uh, the text, it's going to be the ID, which is the auto increment. The description is a, is a text data type. It's complete, it's an integer. It's priority is an integer. While the due date two is an integer data type. With that, we're going to create uh, this table. And you have a context and uh, the constructor, which we are you're passing the context and uh, actually initialize the context and make it usable. We have the onCreate here. This is where you actually uh, execute the SQL create table method. So now you've actually executed the table. Look at this, passes into this method called execute SQL. And uh, you could also load the demo tax, as I've men mentioned, the demo data tax we saw, and it passes into DB, which is uh, actually going to uh, make uh, the insert into the database because that's the DB object. Now you have the on upgrade. You could upgrade. Uh, whether you drop the table if it exists, probably you want to upgrade to another uh, version of the database. And now let's look at the load demo demo tax. Uh, this takes the SQLite database object as a parameter, and because you're going to actually add that to the content values and add that to the SQLite database, so you need this object. You have the content values right there. Now let's get to see. Uh, this is a demo data as I've said, and the first. Uh, columns you're trying to save is the description of the tax where you call the context that's the values now you get the resources you get the string you actually get a string from the string XML uh, called demo talk so that's actually going to uh, be uh, what you actually see right there which is make a working demo cool now the second column is actually going to be is it completed or not so now it's complete will be zero if it's not if it's completed, it's going to turn to 1. So it's that an integer of 0 and 1. Uh, so it's actually 0 at the point in time. And if it, the priority, if, it, if the priority is set, it's called 1. If the priority is not set, it's 0. So that's it. So you have a priority of that. And now uh, the due date, uh, this is actually going to come in a long data type, which sometimes could be converted to integer, uh, which has a maximum value. You have that set up. So it's actually going to have in a, come back in a long and longer than integer sometimes 
and most times work hand in hand so that's the value for the due date so you're actually going to insert into the SQL database called the insert or true an error or true an exception if it happens so you have to actually call the, the table itself you pass a null parameter and the values that were added to the content values so these are the values that will be added to the SQL database as the first our uh, demo data so you have that set up and we could have our demo data as well when we launch the application for the first time you have to make a working demo now we've striked through to make this completed with uh, the background check is actually going to delete this I every one hour is that it's going to be a check to actually get this wiped out because it has been marked as completed so with this now I will stop at this point in time this is the first entry point into our magnificent uh, tax maker application and I will implore you to stay by throughout the course of the playlist so that you could uh, actually understand some uh, salient uh, points when it comes to Android development we'll be talking about background checks we'll talk about job scheduler we'll talk about the alarm manager and we'll be using content uh, URI in the sense that we're actually not going, going to be passing insights uh, data we're going to be passing a URI which is specific to a particular tax and uh, this is actually going to point to the tax with an ID and uh, one click of each uh, tax item to the data page so you, there is a lot to talk about when it comes to the full development of this application so I'll be stopping here right now and I'll employ you to catch me up in the next video where I'll be discussing about the provider and also we we'll set up the main activity thank you guys for hanging out with me throughout this tutorial and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel.